What's going on YouTube? Thank you guys for coming back to my channel and for all of my lovely subscribers, Happy New Year's and let's bring in 2020 in with a bang. But there's an additional New Year's that you guys need to be very aware of if you're currently drop shipping. Chinese New Year's. This video is going to explain to you what Chinese New Year's is, how to remain profitable and continually scale your business throughout this holiday, and how to keep your customers happy and so much more. So be on the lookout to watch this entire video so that you know exactly what to do to prepare your business. Let's get started. Uh. Welcome back guys, welcome back. So before we jump into this video, you guys know exactly what's coming this week. The free consulting call. So I told you guys last week, if you left the word Supreme Ecom, that you would win a free consulting call by me. This week's winner, Brandon Hubbard. Brandon, Brandon, Brandon. Go ahead and hit me up on Instagram, AC underscore Hampton. We can jump on a Skype call. I'll look over your store. I'll give you some tips, some pointers on how to scale your store. And let's go ahead and jump right into that. And I'm excited to have you get on a call. So this week, the key word is ready to join Supreme. Ready to join Supreme. If you guys leave that in the comment section below, you'll win a free consulting call next week. So how to keep drop shipping profitably during the Chinese New Year. Let's go ahead and jump right into this, guys. So what is Chinese New Year? So Chinese New Year is a holiday like any other holiday that we celebrate. But for our New Year's, we celebrate one day, right? Like December 31st. They love to celebrate a lot, lot longer. They can go up to four weeks long. So whenever this is happening and they are celebrating this holiday, well, they're not sending any transportation out. They're not sending any goods out. And everything in the city of China is typically shut down. So the official start date of this is January 25th this year and like i stated before most suppliers take off a week typically even closer to two weeks so shipping on your items will be this will be delayed so what can you do to you know get ready for this is to prepare early so what i would do right now like right now is if you are selling a product make sure that you're preparing this communication with either your supplier or preparing this um New Year's Day by having something that is a backup to what you're planning on doing for when this day of January 25th comes around. So if you are currently running ads, like I stated before, communicate with your supplier. If you're currently scaling with your supplier, communicate to them at least, at least two weeks before. So, you know, talk to them about buying inventory on hand before Ask them about what they are preparing to do with the stocks that they have already fulfilled and what they're currently going to have to fulfill. And then asking them how long they are going to be taking off um, for the holiday. If your supplier is taking off more than two weeks, what I recommend doing is finding another supplier. And why you should do this is not because you want to distrust the communication or relationship that you already have with your supplier, but because this is a business at the end of the day. And you guys have to make sure that your customers are happy. So what you're going to have to do is either A, find another supplier or do not scale your product that you're currently selling. Do not scale. So during these times, what you should do is focus on the back end of things. So maintain or decrease the amount of volume that you are currently selling. This is going to be basically not like scale your product up where so many people are buying it and nobody's receiving it and also this won't hurt your reputation with reviews so you won't be getting a lot of bad reviews on your facebook page you won't be getting a lot of review bad reviews on your instagram page or you know your site alone so obviously the reputation that you have as a business is very very important so definitely make sure that you guys have this in place that you're not scaling your store and that you guys are maintaining or decreasing the amount of volume that you are currently doing until the New Year's um, Chinese New Year's holiday is over. This can also affect Facebook customer feedback score. So this is a new thing that um, Facebook rolled out at um, the beginning slash spring season of last year. And what it was is a score that they basically give you a one to five of your advertising feedback score. So they take random 
they take random surveys from different customers who have purchased from you and they ask for their feedback and this ultimately affects how you're able to run your ads. So if your score goes under a 2, they put a penalty on your ads that makes your ads cost more and you get less results. And if you go under a 1, then they completely do not allow you to advertise on Facebook anymore. So understanding this is very, very important. Understanding the customer feedback score is very important, especially through these holidays. Why would you scale your product if you're not able to even keep a good customer feedback score that could eventually help you or eventually hurt you in the long run because you're not able to advertise anymore? So during these times, please do not focus on profits. Please do not focus on sales because ultimately the longevity of a business is more important than the short-term gain that you receive from making sales from these people in the two weeks that your supplier is not gone. So keep that definitely in mind. Other options. So you can use USA suppliers, CJ Dropshipping, Udroppy, and AliExpress USA warehouses. CJ Dropshipping and Udroppy are options for you to use other suppliers within the United States that will fulfill all of your orders for you and you just send them a couple different invoices and they will fulfill all your orders for you within the United States but this costs a lot more than obviously fulfilling your orders um, from your supplier but this is a way that you can scale if you do want to scale your business and remaining profitable and remaining um, as a business with good customer feedback because a customers are receiving the product a lot more faster and they actually are receiving the product during these holidays compared to your competitors. Um, you can also use AliExpress USA warehouses. So you can look on AliExpress and you can kind of look around for USA suppliers and see if they actually have warehouses available. So if you're currently selling a product, um, just go ahead and look for different suppliers that are on AliExpress and see if there's options for you to be able to ship from the United States. Put a notice on your product page declaring delays may happen soon. So if you are currently still selling your product, again, do not scale it, but this will help you be able to maintain what you are already currently selling. So I say you should start this around January 15th. And February 1st, make sure that this is on your shipping policy page, order confirmation page, and checkout page. So what these will be is declaring that you will be having a delay. So you're not giving false expectations to your customers. So what you're going to say is, you know, hey, um, during the holidays, shipping is a little bit slower. And because of this, we want to illustrate um, that we care about our customers and we don't want you guys to be just, um, you know, in the deep and not knowing basically what is going on at all. You can also add a small discount to your product page for the inconvenience. So because of the holiday season and small delay, please take 5% off your order from um, from us for your inconvenience so adding this kind of coupon adds a lot more loyalty to your customers and it gives people um, the appreciation that you as a business is being honest with them about what is going on and you're giving them a discount so that they basically will come back to your store because now after this they know that they won't begin a delay order and you guys help them out the first time so before I go into my next slide with the shipping policy page, the order confirmation and checkout page that are completely customized with my pre-built theme, please check out my um, available course with the link in the bio below. This is currently um, on sale and prices are again raising soon. We have over 500 students that are going crazy, doing very, very well. And I'm looking forward to being able to help you guys. I also have one-on-one -on -one mentorship. And if you guys want to hop on just a client phone call, I have client calls that you can schedule as well. So be on the lookout for that. I'm adding new content to this course on a weekly basis. I'm adding new scaling strategies, more testing strategies on a weekly basis. So my course is going to be everything that you guys need from beginning to end on how to run a completely profitable e-commerce business while providing you guys with 950 winning products, a seven-figure million-dollar ad strategy, a pre-built theme and so much more so definitely be out on the lookout for that so see here's some of the templates that I would definitely use so for the product description template just say hey due to the holiday season some orders from the 15th of January until the 1st of February will be delayed we apologize for this inconvenience for the inconvenience please take an additional 5% off your order using code customer appreciation 
um, and thank you for your understanding. So again, this will help relate that you do care about your customers. You are being honest about you know the delay in orders, but you are giving them some type of compensation so that you know your orders will still continuously come through and customers will feel more um, valued as a customer through your site. And then the shipping method, this is something that's going to show up on their um, checkout page. So whenever they they choose uh, the shipping method that you currently are doing, if you're using free shipping or free shipping on uh, orders over $50 or whatever you say, I do free worldwide shipping. There will be just a slight little dash and then in parentheses you can say small delays due to upcoming seasons. So again, communicating this and being very, very efficient with how you're running your business is going to help you be able to scale in the long term keeping that feedback score high and keeping your customers happy with the business that you are currently running. If you guys are loving this information, if you guys are loving the information I'm providing you guys on a weekly basis, go ahead and like and subscribe and let me know what you guys want to see in the next video. I'm coming at you guys again weekly, week after week, giving those free consulting calls, giving you guys all these free tips and so much more to come in each week. So go ahead and leave a like and subscribe and hit the alert button because I want you guys to be able to have alerts on whenever I'm dropping new videos each week. So if you do not have a winning product, it's okay, right? Because you're still learning the business. But this is not a bad time to not have a winning product as well because you won't have to go through all these delays. So what you should be doing with this time Spend time doing the back end work, doing product research. I provide different product research methods in my course as well as you can see some of my basic product research methods in my uh, previous videos. Doing niche research, so figuring out basically what niche you want to get into. If it's dogs, if it's women, if it's cosmetics, figuring out which niche you want to jump into and updating your website. So if you currently are finding new niches, finding new products. Make sure that your website is currently being updated with this so that when after the New Year's, you guys can jump into this head first and be able to have your site working perfectly to exactly where it should be um, for putting in this back-end work. And then learning and continuing to grow. There's no way that you know everything, and there's definitely no way I know everything. I still study every day. I still take notes every day. I still want to continuously learn as an individual and as a business owner on how I can do better. So watch those YouTube videos, buy courses, and just learn about job shipping overall. There's never too much information out there for you guys to learn. So definitely use this time if you're not currently selling a winning product or scaling a product to continuously learn the back end of things and to learn as an individual what you can do, the mistakes you've made, and how you can optimize these results into better results in 2020. Again, if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe. If you want to win that free consulting call, make sure you leave that special little comment in the description or in the comments below, excuse me. And I'm looking forward to next week's video. Thank you guys so much for coming back. AC, I'm out.